Hey guys, so this is going to be my Star Wars The Last Jedi movie review. Uh, and let me just go off and say, first off, uh, I hated this movie. It was pretty much garbage. Um, I had numerous people trying to explain away the dumb things that happened in the movie. I wasn't buying it. Uh, they were just making excuses. Uh, we all know that. So uh, let's just go ahead and get right into it because I'm about to tear this movie apart. So this movie basically revolves around the chase scene. Uh, the First Order is chasing the rest of the Resistance in the ship. And right away, I think they're talking about how they can't destroy the Rebel ship yet because it's far enough away to where they can't really destroy it, but they can like, it's just like hitting the back of their shields. And right away, I'm like, you have numerous TIE fighters in that ship. You have other ships that can just get up and get close to it. If you can't destroy it from that distance, why aren't you getting closer? And it's just, this is the thinking that goes into these movies. Little, if none at all. And then you have, I'm gonna skip to the part where you have Rose's sister, and when she's about to drop the bombs on the ship, apparently, so that's all open space. You, you see the shields go away, and the bombs are dropping. And somehow she's not sucked in his space, but later in the movie, when the ship gets hit, Leia and all the others just get flown out of space. Like, what sense does that make? So, while all this is happening, you see Rey still in that same position, handing Luke his lightsaber, and you can tell they kind of changed Luke a little bit from the last movie. You know, his hair is like a little bit more scruffy looking, he looks like a little bit more like a hermit than he did in the last movie. And this is from this point this is the thing that i hated most about this movie from this point onward was their disrespect of luke skywalker he she hands him a lightsaber and he just throws it over his shoulder i'm sorry what so then for the rest of her meeting him he's basically rude basically you know like giving up on life he's going around like freaking squirting milk out of animals and what what are you doing like it's the disrespect is just like crazy and then you get later into the scene where you see uh the reason why kylo turned the way he is first off it was luke saying no he turned bad and then it was kylo saying luke tried to kill him and you're like, okay, Luke would never do that. You know, I know Luke. I've seen him in the original trilogy. He's full of hope. He would not try to kill a kid. <laughs> well, you can toss all that out the window because he did. Well, first off, let me say this. Okay, there's the Luke Skywalker from the original trilogy. And then there's the Luke Skywalker that was at the end of The Force Awakens. That's my Luke, he is the Alpha and the Omega, amen. But this Luke, we're not even gonna refer to him as Luke. We're gonna refer to him as Jake Skywalker because that's basically what Mark Hamill referred to him as because he, Mark Hamill even said he completely disagreed with the way Ryan Johnson was taking his character. Ryan Johnson didn't listen. He just kept doing on whatever he wanted. And as we can tell, you know, fans hated it. That's why you listen to people that know what they're doing. How it's explained in the movie is that Kylo was feeling the pull to the dark side. Luke walks in on him while he's sleeping. And because Kylo is basically having like that little pull to the dark side, Luke pulls out his lightsaber, ignites it, goes in stance, and then stops. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> and people are trying to say, people are trying to say, oh no, he just thought about it for a minute and then he stopped. Okay, listen. Thinking about it is in here. When you think about doing something, you think about it in here. That's the, so that should be like, okay, he walked in, he thought about it, and he left. No, he thought about it, he pulled out his lightsaber, he ignited it. That's more than thinking, son. So, you're trying to tell me that Luke Skywalker, the boy that faced down the two most powerful people in the galaxy at the time, didn't kill his father because he sensed the little good in him that he had left. 
You're telling me that that same Luke Skywalker would sense a boy that felt a little pulled to the dark side and would try to kill him in his sleep? Shut the- So anyway, skip into the part where the ship gets hit and then Leia and the others go flying out. First off, the disrespect of uh, Admiral Akbar, the one that's always like, it's a trap. Yeah, he's just gone. It's like unceremoniously just like gone, like he's dead and no one ever mentioned him. He never had a funeral, he's just gone. Uh, once again, disrespect to legacy characters. But then Leia out in space, and I've heard people try to explain this, and every time it sounds stupid, they try to say Leia survived because she had like this force energy around her. Bro, she was knocked out. Her eyes were closed. How can you focus on protecting yourself when you're unconscious? Shut up. So, she's out there for minutes. She should have been dead. But then she opens her eyes and does this whole, I'm sure you've heard this before, but like it's just the most accurate thing. This whole Mary Poppins thing and just like swings back to the ship. No, she should have been dead, bro. She should have been dead. R.I.P. Carrie Fisher, this is no gripe with her acting or anything like that. This is just the dumb decisions of Disney and Ryan Johnson that I'm talking about right now with these characters. So, in place of Carrie Fisher, uh, sorry, Leia, whenever she gets injured, uh, instead of uh, promoting Poe, which is the best and most obvious choice, they bring in some purple-haired feminist dumb lady, General Holdork, Admiral Holdork, I, I don't remember her name. And basically, her plan is to withhold her plan from everyone else this entire time. And that leads Poe, you know, the person that we've actually seen in the past movie, to worry because he doesn't know what's going on. And he should know what's going on because he's been in this resistance a long time. He's trustworthy. So the reason they did this, I have no idea. So that leads Poe to send Finn and this other girl, uh, uh, what's her name? I don't, I don't know. Rose, that leads him to send them on like some kind of side mission to Cantabia. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not even going to talk about Cantabia. I will rant on that for like 30 minutes straight, so I'm just going to leave that whole thing out of there where it belongs, just like not in the movie because nothing that happened there mattered. None of it. So I'm just gonna leave that out before I start getting mad <laughs> and going hard on that. So meanwhile, uh, you got Ray and Luke, he's training her, I guess. And they're getting into like some kind of stick fight and Ray beats Luke. Let that sink in. Someone that's been, al been alive way before she was even thought of has so many skills, should be like OP powerful right now, beat Darth Vader, and Rey beats him? And you know what, I don't even want to hear it because you're going to use the excuse from the Rise of Skywalker that wasn't even a thing in this movie, oh she's Palpatine's granddaughter, she's supposed to be powerful. Okay, Anakin was the chosen one, Count Dooku still whooped his butt, yeah, yeah that's what I thought, shut up. I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm basically going to skip to the end. So the First Order has like this drill or something like that that's going to like push the push down wherever the Rebels are hiding. They're in like this cave or something. So Finn, being like the, uh, being a former Stormtrooper, goes and he's about to destroy this thing. And then Rose just comes out of nowhere and knocks him out. And like, just like almost like... If, there, if Luke Skywalker did not come, all of them would be dead because she wanted a kiss from this dude. Yeah, and that's how it would have ended. And it's so stupid. This is what I'm talking about. Like the thinking that goes into these movies. Like I don't know what's wrong with these people. But so she knocks him down, goes over there, and then tells him some stupid stuff like, "We're gonna win not by fighting what we hate, but protecting what we love." Okay, I'm sorry, what's been going on with the Jedi and Sith this whole time? They've been fighting, like, they're gonna protect themselves by fighting. What are you talking <sighs> Disney is so stupid, I can't even explain. So, 
it's all this happens, you know, Ray comes and like somehow helps them out. Luke's projecting himself to distract Kylo. And after he does that, and he they have him doing like this dumb like like he dodges like these bolts from like the the ATST or the new things, whatever they're called. And he goes like this. <laughs> what? <laughs> so anyway, he's dodging this whole time. And you see the same lightsaber that Kylo and Rey broke apart not even like 10 minutes ago when they were fighting each other. And you know something's wrong. His hair is shorter, he looks a little bit younger. And he's dodged all these attacks, he's not fighting, and then it's revealed that it's just a force projection. And then he dies. He just like takes a breath and like he's exhausted and then he's like, alright, I'm gonna I'm a head out and just like turn into a force ghost. Guys, this movie was stupid. Uh, this was the beginning of the downfall for Star Wars uh, for me. Uh, the Force Awakens, they basically set us up because they made us think we were going to see Luke Skywalker in full action and him being awesome. And then The Last Jedi came around and movie reviewers were like, not really explaining how the movie was. They were just like, oh, I need to see it again to understand what I just saw. So you're thinking they saw something awesome. No, they, they saw pure stupidity. And that's why they needed to see it again to make sure that they actually saw something that stupid. That's what that was. So, uh, this movie's garbage, uh, I wouldn't recommend it, that was the beginning of the downfall for Disney, along with that dumb solo movie that I didn't even watch, that I'm probably not going to, uh, I'm sorry guys, I'm, I'm not gonna risk my eyesight for that, like, I, I've already done enough, honestly. Uh, so, if you're really into Star Wars, check out The Mandalorian, uh, plays, uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, it's way better than any of the movies that came out from Disney recently. Uh, that's gonna end it for my movie review and I'll see you guys later.